Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Are you ready to design your own custom journals in 2023? Learn how to create stunning journals with book bolts. From cover to content, this tutorial will empower you to tap into the journaling market and publish personalized products. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the first thing that you have to do is simply head up to bookbot.io by going to their official website as you can see in front of us. Then click on it and then you just have to look in. This is the first step. Then after that, we have to go ahead and click into the left menu, search research into create. After that, click on bookbot studio and there we go. So here we have our old project. So now let me just delete, delete this project and I'm going to delete all my previous projects so we can start clear from scratch. Here we go. And here we have to start. So for now, I'm going to make this as paperback because we know journals are always made from paper. They're not hard. The second thing is the project name. Let's name it as our journal name. So for example, uh, let's name it uh, for now NBC or something like that. So let's keep it as it is. Now here, this is the most important thing. We have to search for journal size. So journal size, and it is six and nine inches, which is this one. So we have to go for six and nine inches and then make sure that this is black and white interior with white paper. And then we have to choose the pages. So normally guys, the pages are not going to be that many in a journal. Maximum is going to be around 10 pages. So this is what I'm going to do, create project, and that will be the work for us. But somehow here, the input has to be between 24 or 828. So yeah, let's do what they want. So now starting, here it is how it's going to look like. This is like the cover of our journal. Here you can put barcode or anything but in general this is how it's gonna look like uh, when we finish the work now this is the journal so here we have to create a cover for our journal so I will just have to get a journal and here here it is journal example let's get this so here I'm just going to see how it looks like and I'm going to copy it so first of all you see these lines guys now, you might think that you just have to go here, go to a page, and then choose this, draw a line, copy the line, and just go and redo that over and over. Don't you think, guys, that would take so much time? Th this is not actually worth it to do it manually. That's why I'm going to show you a short trick so you can actually do them all at once. First of all, you just have to go to here, into this menu, and then you'll find this page template shows it and there you go so here you have all the ruled and field ruled ruled with field ruled without field you can have here everything that you want as an example here let's check which kind of uh, pages they have i think we're going with this one uh, white journal college journal or narrow journal so let's choose college journal and so here is the next next thing now it has to be in all of our pages. Now to do that, you have to click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You can actually do that, but it can take so much time. And if you did fail and click between the pages, every selection that you have made will be gone. And imagine you have 300 pa a page, how are you gonna do it? So simply all you need to do is select. There's actually the select option in this page. So just select all of them for these ones you can just click on control and con like select them as well so here we go and then click on next right over here and then click on submit here there is some other options as the stroke width the color of the stroke and the between lines the spacing between the lines you can change it if you want but let's keep them as they are for now click on submit and here we go 
So now if you'd like to change it, you simply can just click here and change the color as you can see here. You can do whatever you want. Uh, let me just click on OK. Here you can make it whatever you'd like it to be. It can be any color that you have in mind. You can change that to red, from blue, to anything you have. Here if you click also, you can change that. Uh, let me just click here. If you want to change that as well, you can change it. So there is all the options that you want to actually edit the page and make it look as beautiful as you want to fit the theme and the cover of your journal so here usually they are using like a cream page or a white page you can also create a cream page guys if you'd like to by going to new project let me just show you when you create a new project here you will find black and white interior with the cream paper so this cream paper is actually the thing that will make the page look kind of creamy kind of old or something like that yeah this is the vibe that it will give you it is by just having it as a current page inside for now it will be white as snow but once you print it out once you get it out as a book you will notice the difference so as i said let's try it out in here so let's choose the journal and here i'm going with white journal for now select all of these select those with control click on next change the color to black so Make sure to click on OK. Same thing here. We can make it one. And then here. And as you can see, click on submit right over here. And there we have it. So now we have this template. And simply now all you can do is add some decoration around it, add some stars, add something that will give it a life that will not be so empty. You can even add some kind of shapes, some kind of birds, and lower their opacity so they can become transparent and they don't really uh, make the page ugly or hide the lines. So that's how you can make it, uh, make the lines actually visible to the writer and add a look and a design to your page. You can also edit the colors from here to whatever color that will fit your design as well. So here, for example, you added a bird. In the next page, you can simply click and add another shape as, for example, a star. And here we go. We have now a star. Change the color, add the opacity into it. And voila, now we have a star that we can actually add it to the top of the page. As you can see, you can also, in case you'd like it to be added to all the pages, simply click on apply to all pages function, which is over here, and they will be added to the whole pages on your book. It is as cool as that. And yeah, with that, we've come to an end to our tutorial. I hope you liked it, guys. I tried to make a simple good looking journal for you so you can learn the basics of book bought thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial